Walt, I spoke with people who came from as close as Austin and as far away as Oregon. While organizers of the Texas Eclipse Festival wouldn't let us on property, there was no shortage of disappointed festival goers here in downtown Burnett forced to make sudden preparations for after the eclipse. Pretty, pretty upset, <laughs> pretty, pretty annoyed. For music lovers like Austinite Pepe Molina, the cancellation of a festival built around Texas's once in a lifetime historic total solar eclipse was disappointing to say the least. The artists I came to see were all playing today, so, and like the Eclipse Festival is no longer featuring the Eclipse. Others like Jay Marshall traveled even further to be here, coming all the way from Portland, Oregon. Made our way to Santa Fe and then from Santa Fe uh, drove uh, out to Austin for the weekend in order to be here for today, so kind of disappointing. It wasn't just a forecast of clouds, but inclement weather that concerned local officials. The threat of high winds, thunderstorms, hail, and perhaps even tornadic activity was enough for organizers to call it a day early, ahead of the big celestial event. Like we just heard more and more about the weather and the cloud cover, you know, kind of dampening our plans. So. Uh, not too excited about that. In its cancellation notice, the festival says safety is the top priority and asked participants to begin packing and preparing to leave the campgrounds promptly. So it welcomed attendees to stay on property for the eclipse as long as they were prepared to leave right after totality. While Molina is close enough to go home, Marshall's choosing to make the most of it. You know, we'll see what we can see and if we happen to see, you know, even a glimmer of what we came out here for, I think that'd be worth it. As for the clouds, Burnett got lucky after all. My dad told me that we weren't sure if the sun was coming up, but it did. As for refunds, those discussions will have to come later. Organizers asked for patience as they, quote, focus on the safety of our patrons. We reached out to Burnett emergency management officials to hear from them on how the sudden cancellation would impact the area, but have not heard back. Reporting in Burnett, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.